Hey guys, Allie Pierce at the ranch. Thank you, Kevin. Nice picture of our windmill. This windmill was built in 1915. Not here, not here on the original farm where it was built. I've bought it and I've had it in two different places. Now it is installed here, working perfectly. I dug a well, the whole thing. And it's a lot of fun to look at and to watch. I got it running today. I got it turned it on today uh, to get it started. You know, I flicked the switch and electric motor started up. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> There's a cable. Anyway, it's a long story. I'm going to do the windmill in one of my uh, At The Ranch uh, videos very shortly. I'm going to learn a little bit about the old-fashioned windmills, how to build them and how they work. And that's going to be kind of fun. But I just thought I'd throw this little one in here because <clears throat> I don't know if you know this, but Diane and I were in the scuba diving business for almost 50 years. We sold our business and retired just a couple of years ago. And so we're out here enjoying our, our property in the country at the ranch and making these videos and hopefully you're enjoying them as well but uh, the fact that we were in the scuba business uh, not only gave us a lot of uh, a lot of fun a lot of people travel and excitement but also gave us access to some pretty interesting equipment like scuba tanks you know the air tanks the scuba divers wear oh yeah makes diving so much more fun you have no idea Anyway, scuba tanks don't last forever and so we sometimes over a period of time certainly over 50 years we ended up with a whole bunch of used scuba tanks they were garbage like the scrap dealer wouldn't even take them. That's so much, you know, they're steel or aluminum, but even the scrap dealer didn't want them. So we ended up with a whole bunch of them, and we once in a while would slip one into the garbage, and the garbage man would take it away, he probably didn't know. And we were always looking for uses for them, and we found a few uses for them, but here at the ranch we found a use. It's pretty neat. So here's an old scuba tank. You see here? Old company called Healthways. They went out of business in the 60s. And that's a typical scuba tank. Another one over there. You can see that one, Kev? Another scuba tank. You can recognize them as scuba tanks. Shape, color, the sticker, Healthways Scuba. And that one in particular still has marks on the bottom from the boot, the rubber boot that sticks on the bottom so you can stand them up. So these are just standard scuba tanks. What's the big deal? Well, we made them into bells, scuba bells or scuba bells. Scuba, scuba, whatever. Anyway, we made them into bells. And when the wind is blowing on a, on a, on a windy day, it's not too windy today. When the wind is blowing, uh, uh, then, then these bells ring, and it's pretty neat. So what Diana did, well, but she asked me to cut the bottom off. That wasn't too hard. I have a, a big metal band, so I cut the bottom off. And then she mounted a special bolt in the top, drilled it, and put the line, hung a weight on the inside. And she normally has, and in, in, in the summertime, she would put them on, so she normally has a tail that hangs down. So the wind catches the tail and makes them ring. And they're pretty neat. <coughs> My goodness gracious. Yeah. So sometimes, sometimes the whole tank swings in the wind, not just the tail, and they ring. And we're gonna get some more of these because every one, <laughs> if you make it a different length, has a different tone. So this one's a little different. And we're gonna get four or five or six or 14 or 35 of these. I don't know, a few of them hanging off the windmill here. And, and, and I don't know if I can, uh, can I tune these, Kevin, and make, 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 maybe I can get them to play a tune. Well, anyway. We're going to have a few of these, and it's pretty interesting. And people come in and say, what's that? And then uh, they, they ring in the wind. The neighbors hear them sometimes, and our neighbor, closest neighbors are half a mile away. But anyway, they hear them, and they're pretty neat. So interesting, conversation starter, good use for an old scuba tank, and kind of fun to listen to as well. Huh, I thought I'd mention that to you. Maybe it's an idea, a tip, a tip for a project if you have access to scuba tanks. Go to your local scuba diving store and ask them if they have some old tanks that they don't want. They'll probably give them to you. Anyway, kind of interesting. There you go. Talk to you again real soon. Alec Pierce at the ranch. Check.